Hi, my name's Amanda Branston from Lavinia Stamp. Welcome to Mandy's Makes. Today, we're going to make a pair of cards. Whilst we've got the kit out, let's make the most of it. So we've got Mimsy and Mooch. So what do we need? We're going to start by inking up squarely the lovely printing press. Beautiful size. I've put it on a block so I can move it around as is my want. I've also got hickory smoke so I'm going to pop some of that on and peacock feathers in the oxides. Any of the water-based inks would work for this and then I'm going to brayer over just to smooth out that ink and to blend it slightly. Clean off your brayer and I'm going to pop down this one I think is leaf trails. I'll double check for you. And give it a good rub all over. You could do it with card and you'd end up with a beautiful print yourself. Take that off, lift it up. Now the card I'm using is multifarious and it's roughly 14 centimetres square. And I'm going to pop that in the middle. Give it a good squish all the way down and then pull your print delicate and beautiful i love it so let's have another one so again hickory smoke let's try it in different places this time peacock feathers and then a blend with the brayer Clean your brayer off. Put that down. Give it a good rub. Lift it off. Pop our card down. And again, in the middle. And again, another good squish. I find it really useful when you've got your gel press out is to keep going. If I show you, if I do a, like a second generation, you can see I'm going to get a softer print and keep going until you've cleaned your gel press. So on this one, ink up with Nocturne. Memories. Now, Memories is from the Balance set. I'm going to pop this underneath Mooch. At the side of Mooch, I'm going to use this Dandelion. This is from the set Dandelions. I'm going to use this stamp from the Dandelion set. Now, any of the stamps where you've got a fine stalk you can actually move and shape the way you want now i would like this to sort of lean over mooch and it's always the opposite way around so i'll start that side double check a little bit straighter perfect There's one all stamped up and the second one, Mimsy, ink the beautiful Mimsy up, not quite there, almost, pop Mimsy in the middle. This time I'm going to use Harmony and it's from the Harmony set. We'll pop it under Mimsy. Now this time, I'd like that dandelion to go the other way. Let's double check. Yep, yeah. that's the one. And stamp. So that's the stamping done. Let's do some background. Just to add a bit more colour, I'm going to use 
peacock feathers again. So with a large stencil brush, I think I like to blend it on my lid and a very gentle edge. And then underneath, same again. I love how this brings out the pattern, just adding that little more colour. Same again. So for the final touch, I'm going to use the glue pen. Same with this one. You just need to dry that glue off. This time I'm going to use silver fab foil. I've got a little bit I've cut off. And I've used this before as you can see. But there's still plenty on it that I can use. good to get the most out of your kit. There we go. And that little bit lasted all that too. So there we have it. A pair. It's always worth making more than one background when you've got your gel press out. Keep going, make yourself a stack. And then you can go back later when the occasion calls for it and make a suitable card to fit your occasion. I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. Quick and easy. Take care now. Hope you can join me again sometime. Bye bye.